What's up guys, it's Paul from eCommerce Gold and in this quick Shopify tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a contact form in your Shopify store. So let's get started. Right, so by default, Shopify includes a contact form when you sign up to Shopify, but you may have deleted that page by accident or even on purpose, but you may have not deleted the template and you can check for this by going into your online store and going into your theme customizer. And then from the search bar at the top or this drop down menu at the top, click on drop down and go to pages and look at the templates that are available. If there is a contact template here, then you've got one that you can edit or you can just add to one of your pages on your store, which I'll show a little bit later on in the video. But if you don't have a contact template, you need to create one. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what you do is click on create template and we're going to add a name for this and we're just going to call it contact and we're going to base it on the default page which is the default template that Shopify creates. Then we're going to click on create template and it creates a default template. Now the main section that you want to add to this page is your contact form. So if you click on add section you see there's a contact form option. Click on this and it brings up this basic contact form. Now you can't do much in terms of customization to this but Honestly, you don't really need to. It's got everything you need, name, email address, contact phone number, and your comments. Now, if you do wanna go in and edit this form, you actually have to go in and edit the code for it. There's no real customization options available directly in the Shopify customizer. So it's up to you if you wanna go down that route. But for some stores, this is going to be enough for the basic contact form. But you may want to add additional sections. You may want to add a text section so you can add information for your customers. So say when your contact support team is available or a phone number that they can contact you on. So we're going to add another section to this and we're going to go onto the show more option. And when it loads, we're going to go with the rich text, which you can add down the bottom and you can customize this. So we can remove the button if we want to. And also you can remove the header if you want to as well. So you've just got the text which you can go in and customize and say our contact number is whatever, M number, <laughs> number is whatever. And then when you're happy with that you can drag that about if you want. So if we go back and we want to drag that up so it's above the contact form we do that so it appears at the top. Very simple, very easy to do. But you may also want to add a location for your store as well. So for this, there's a couple of different options. The first one is you could go for the image and text option. So if we add that column, you can add an image of your storefront, for example, or your unit, wherever you're working from, and then add your basic address and the times you're open here. If you've got multiple storefronts, what you could do is you could add the multi-column section. So if you click on more options, they're always down the bottom. Click on multi-column, and then what you can do is you can go in and you can add all the information for all of your outlets if you've got multiple of them. Now, the one thing that is quite frustrating at the moment with the Shopify, basically the new setup for the Shopify themes is they haven't brought the map section over from the vintage themes which is quite annoying because it would be a nice addition to the contact form is to actually have like the Google Maps set up so people can actually see the location of your store and be able to basically like figure out where it is so they can navigate their way to it. But they don't have this functionality yet. They haven't brought it over and I'm not sure if they are going to. But if you want to add a map to your contact page, you are going to have to install an app at the moment. But once you've got your page set up and you are happy with it, what you want to do is click save on the top right hand corner. So this saves the template to your Shopify store. Then we're going to come out of the theme customizer and we need to create a page for our contact form. As you can see, I've got a few pages set up already. We're going to click on add page and we're going to call this contact us. And then what you want to do is don't worry about the contents area. What you want to do is go to online store under the template, select the contact template and click on save. This way we've created a page for that template that we just created. Now you need to make this accessible to your customers in the front end of your store. And the way you do this is you go into your navigation menu, choose whether you want it in your main menu or footer menu or any other menu that you've set up on your online store. I'm gonna add it to the main menu. Click on add menu item and under the link, go to pages and select the contact us page. Click on add, save the menu 
And it does take a couple of seconds for this to actually show up in the front end of your store, but we're gonna preview our online store. And as you can see, the Contact Us page is there. Click on it, and it's got all those sections that we added in the customizer. And you can go back and you can edit this template if you want to, if there's something you wanna add, something you wanna remove, you can do that by just going back into the customizer. Very simple, very easy to set up a contact form. And I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, a like would be absolutely awesome because it does help me out with the almighty YouTube algorithm. So thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome. Check out some of my other tutorials if you wanna learn more about setting up a store on Shopify. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.